Whew, would you check out this beautiful little patch of evergreen huckleberry and salal we have here. And if we have a look at the fresh leaves, the fresh shoots on these plants, we can see that they have a bit of a reddish hue to them. What the cuss is going on? Well, this is a thing that will happen in certain species of plants, notably when growing in more exposed or direct sun environments, and it's created by different chemical compounds within the leaves. So leaves contain a variety of different chemical compounds that all perform different functions and roles. The one that you might be the most familiar with is chlorophyll, which plants and trees use to photosynthesize. So getting energy from the sun, converting that to sugars and using that to grow. And that is what gives leaves their kind of greenish hue. So if we look at these young leaves here on this salal, you can see that it's lighter green, not as much chlorophyll compared to the darker green, more mature leaves here. They're low with even more chlorophyll. Chlorophyll. Now chlorophyll is a super strong pigment so it tends to overpower all the other pigments or the other compounds in these leaves so that's what we see the most but there's also really important ones like anthocyanins which give leaves their kind of reddish hue. Um, anthocyanins kind of work as like a sunblock similar to melatonin in our skin just blocking out the harsh UV rays of the sun. And normally you only see anthocyanins in the fall when deciduous plants and trees will draw back the chlorophyll in their leaves because that chlorophyll is loaded with nitrogen, which is a super important uh, limiting factor that they need to create more chlorophyll, which they use to grow. So they want to preserve that in the wintertime. They draw it back in the fall, exposing different chemical compounds like anthocyanins, which give leaves reddish hues, and keratins, which give them kind of orangish yellow hues. But on these, these plants here, because they're in such harsh environments with like direct sun that comes in on them, their fresh leaves, really delicate, really fragile, really soft, they will load those with anthocyanins more so than chlorophyll to protect them from the harsh rays of the sun until they develop. And then as they develop, they will load them full of more chlorophyll, eventually turning them a deep, rich green like this here. And that is pretty freaking cool. Just a really awesome adaptation by these plants to survive in, you know, not the most hospitable places. Pretty neat.